Oh yes, hello! And welcome to the first in a series of dodgy videos that will show you how to digitize a puppet based on a real life puppet. This is by no means professional and you'll see that quite clearly. This is the process I use to create my puppets for use with my Twitch channel, which is Disaster of Puppets. Uh, if you have any questions, concerns, queries, feel free to pop on in and uh, I'll be happy to answer them. So the first thing we want to do is look at our setup to get the reference images. The basic setup here is a green screen, a couple of lights and a 4K camera. Now the reason I'm using that is because I stream at 1920 by 1080 so it's going to give me more pixels in a smaller area when I scale down. Now of course you don't need a green screen, you could use a solid background wall, it's going to make it harder for you but you can still do this. Otherwise you can pick up most of this gear for under $100 on eBay. You still may be able to achieve this with a stills camera, however when I tried with the flash on or off, bringing those files into Photoshop made my fleece look horrible. And additionally, by using a video camera we're capturing additional frames, so if anything looks off you can go forward or back and then you'll hopefully have an image you can use. So here's the Lazy Susan I modified by adding a piece of PVC pipe. I also made attachments with larger PVC pipe for holding the body and the head. Don't worry about painting it green, that was me using it for something else. That didn't work. So here we can see the process of taking the actual videos. All you need to do is rotate the Lazy Susan around the 360 degrees and you're done. The slower the better. It might help to stop in certain points just to make sure you've got a clearer image on those keyframes. Apart from taking shaky video footage for YouTube, the most important bit here is to use a tripod for doing the head. That way the zoom is always at a constant angle and you're going to save swearing yourself later. To get a reference for all the mouth shapes that you'll need, jump on Google and do a search for mouth phonic shapes. They'll help you and give you a good reference. And that's pretty much it. You just need to repeat the process for each body part, each mouth shape and away you go. So as I mentioned at the start, if you have any questions or queries, please feel free to jump into Twitch forward slash disaster of puppets uh, and I am happy to answer any questions. Alright, that's your lot. Now get off the lawn.